Hi, everyone. I am Kizia Patuti, part of the product management team here at Order. Uh, I have with me Pandian, uh, who is our co-founder and uh, chief product officer. Today, I want him to talk a little bit about Chasm uh, and why we're excited about it. Um, we've been, Order has been in cybersecurity for a long time now. A lot of customers, a lot of innovations along the way but we want to share what we're doing with Chasm. And I love Kit Pandian to start talking about what it is, how you view it in terms of the new space. Thank you, thank you, Kazia. So the definition of Chasm is cyber security asset, and then the attack surface management, both combined together. In the first piece, it's all about complete, unified, and accurate visibility about all assets in the enterprise. When you say assets, it's users, devices, software applications installed, SaaS, cloud, everything together, all application, all assets together, providing visibility. And the second side is attack surface management that you want to identify anything that is exposed to the hackers for them to exploit. You take it a little bit further, Instead of visibility, it's about asset intelligence that creates and provides deep, accurate context about every single asset. And then on the attack surface side, it's about prioritizing the risks based on the business impact that these vulnerabilities provide. And in some ways, CASM provides a single unified view as a single source of truth so that we can understand security gaps, we can understand vulnerabilities, we can get reports for our periodic compliance and for boards. And you know, it is also good to get immediate information when there is a breach that happens. So that is in a nutshell what CASM stands for. Thanks, Pandian. So we're talking about CASM, that was a great overview. So why, why are we talking about now? Why are customers in interested? Again, please share a little bit more. Yeah, it's, uh, thank you, because yeah, it's very simple digital transformation that's happening in every enterprise that we talk about. So it's also about certain transformations that's going on. If you look at the boundaries, they're expanding. You are kind of creating cloud workloads every single day. Every enterprise is adapting that workload. Hybrid workforce, they're working from remote. You have remote offices, you don't have any more visibility. And the, the number one is expanding the boundaries, how we can give complete visibility about across all surfaces. The second is there are so many tools, enterprise security tools, and you don't have a single way to consolidate all of that and create a single source of truth because every tool has their own siloed information. And the third thing is, uh, the number of devices and the types of devices and the assets is exploding, you know, all the way from IT to IoT to OT and so on and so forth. Identity is cloud. So that is exploding. With the three dimensions of expansion, your attack surface is continuously expanding. And that's why you need a tool that brings all of this together to understand and remediate your risk to the corporations. So in particular, if I were part of a security team, what does this daily impact look like? What, how do I address it? So if you have a tool like this, number one is should, should, you should be unlucky to get into your breach. You need information about assets immediately, every single context about that asset, deep and accurate information so that you can take remediation action. It's not like it's used to once in a while when you're getting attacked. But remember, every morning you come to work, there are new vulnerabilities getting disclosed. There are new bulletins coming from vendors. And your management is asking, did we get affected? How do you answer that question? You need a place to go and get that answer within minutes rather than going to so many tools to get that answer. And the other thing is you're going to sit with auditors for your compliance. How do you generate reports and everything? and you're going to send your reports to the um, board members. So you have to pull all the data together. So you really need this single source of truth accumulated from all the sources so that it is yeah, 
place for everyone to go to. And it's also important that we feed it back to the corporate CMDB, which is the single source of uh, system of record, so that all of the IT and all the workflows and ticketing systems and all of them use this data to become all, all the more efficient. And we can run remediation in a very, very automatic fashion based on this. All right, single source of truth and everything's actionable that you can actually use it every day. But can we just sort of go back and look at the asset intelligence part of Chasm? Uh, what we're doing unique, how we're doing it, and how customers at the end of the day benefit from it. Thank you. Thank you, Kasia. With respect to assets, uh, I would say it comes to three dimensions. The first dimension is about breadth, comprehensiveness of data that comes from our multimodal data ingestion discovery engine. In the depth side, it's about our AI ML engine and our proprietary data knowledge base. In the accuracy side, it comes from our software inventory collectors and various other methods that we do. Let's talk about breadth. We already talked about API-based data is only less than 50% of the corporate resources. We have perhaps tremendous experience on the IoT side. In, in, in a large way, IoT to me is printers, phones, video cameras, badge readers, building management systems, Linux servers sitting in the data center, all of the unmanaged and unagentable resources. But the breadth covers comprehensively about 99% to 100% of all the assets in the enterprise. And a tool needs to be able to provide every single asset that is available in the enterprise. Now, when we come to depth, what we do is once we collect the data, we use our crowdsourced AI ML based library that we have accumulated over the years, millions of them. And then we kind of compare with the particular enterprise instance and try to classify them on what that is. With all the data on attributes, in the end, you need to know that it is actually indeed a server. It is also running Windows 10 server. It has got this many patches installed and KVs and hub fixes, and it is used as a domain controller. So that is the kind of level of detail that we have to do. And to ascertain that, we have a huge library that we use to compare it and then finally say, this is that device and we put a picture in our UI for that particular device. That's where the depth comes into picture. When it comes to accuracy, we take it one more level with software inventory collector and various other mechanisms that we will know exactly what are the pieces of software installed in every single piece of endpoint. Not just that, for every single piece of software, we go to the CVDs and public domains and figure out what is vulnerable, what is not vulnerable, what is important for this organization, who wants it, whatever, all that information. So if you take the, the breadth, we think we could be as high as 2x more assets surfaced for a corporate user. When you go into the depth, the number of attributes could be two to three X more attributes that we can collect because some of the attributes come from our knowledge base in our cloud source library. In terms of accuracy, we want our machine learning engine to give us north of 90% confidence score in terms of accuracy. The reason all this is possible because order AI platform brings everything together. It has a phenomenal prioritization mapping engine, correlation engine, due duplication, so that it's a single source of truth, completely cleaned up, ready to go and use. And it also serves as the basis for your corporate CMDB and workflow management. Thanks, Panyan. Uh, thanks for getting into sort of the deep dive of asset intelligence part of uh, the Chasm solution. Um, that is all great. We learned a lot today. But one last question. If I'm a customer and I'm looking at this solution, why is this key important now? And how does it fit into all the other tools that they're using? Thank you. Thank you. Because, yeah, that's a good question. Um, <clears throat> to me, um, the way I described Order's Chasm Plus product, <clears throat> you know, in my view, it is the foundational tool that you establish in any enterprise that will make every other tool much more productive, efficient, and powerful. 
the CAD surplus product actually ingests information from all the sources and creates a single source of truth and gives it back to CMDB type system of record to make the entire workflow of the organizations much more smooth and efficient. If you go into each tool, they have siloed information, but more than that, if you take, for example, an EDR, a CrowdStrike or a Centival one or whatever, you want to know how my EDR coverage is. That's not going to get from the EDR tool. If you go to an MDM, you want to make sure that all your endpoints are compliance and with firewall turned on, encryption on, things like that. If you want to go to AWS, you want to see how many things are not running and turned off, you know, how many things are exposed to the internet, S3 buckets not used for a long time. Those kind of insights you need to get. If you go to Active Directory and Identity, you really want to know who is doing password attempts, bad password, how many people have supervisory access, and then you go into software inventory, you want to know how many things have really bad vulnerabilities. So each of these tools, bringing information into a single place, you can really take CASM Plus as an auditing function of every single tool so that your cyber hygiene improves. In a way, Orders CASM Plus is the foundation for enterprise cyber hygiene. In summary, I will say, uh, driven by the order AI platform, you know, which gives us all this analytics and then correlation, deduplication, insights, automation, and this cool, you know, GPT type interface for you to ask questions and get instant answers. It's an extremely powerful and scalable platform for enterprises, and it is very easy to set up. It takes a few minutes for each integrations to come in and you know hook it into the platform, and it will give insights within hours using its analytics. In summary, we're all super excited about the CASM Plus product driven by Order AI platform, and looking forward to working with customers more and more to make their security journey better. Thank you, Kazia. 